Hi, welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Valuti. Today we will be dividing whole numbers using the powers of 10. So hopefully you've already watched the powers of 10 math movie and you learned that our place value system is all about the number 10. So here's just a really brief overview. Um, you should recall from that math movie that every time you move the decimal place to the left, what's really happening is that you're dividing by 10. So if we take a look here, you may notice this decimal pattern. In each of these examples, the decimal is moving to the left one place. And what's going on here is that if we look at the numbers, each time we move the decimal place to the left, we are in fact dividing by 10. So if you start with here uh, 10,000, if you took the number 10,000 and you divide it by 10, you will get 1,000. And you will also notice that the decimal has moved to the left. If you take the number 1,000, for example, let's say you have $1,000 and you split it evenly amongst 10 friends, we're dividing by 10, everybody's going to get $100. If you take that $100 and you divide that among 10 people, everybody's going to get $10. You'll keep seeing that the decimal is moving to the left one time. You take that $10, you divide it into 10, and you get $1. So what this means is that we need to hang on to this pattern and remember it as we go through some of the practice problems. Because every time we move the decimal to the left, we're dividing by 10. All right, so here are some examples to get started. We're looking at the number 8,000 here in all three examples. And what we're doing is we're going to divide it by 10, 100, and 1,000 to practice the powers of 10. So let's start with 8,000 divided by 10. So let's practice that rule we just described. What's going on when we divide by 10 is that we're taking that decimal place, all right? If you picture 8,000, the decimal place is over here all the way next to the zero. And to divide by 10, we are going to move that decimal place one place to the right. It's going to land right there, bringing us to 800. What that's saying is that 8,000 divided by 10 is 800. All right, if we're taking 8,000 and dividing it by 100, 100 is made up of 10 times 10. That means that we are going to move our decimal place to the left twice, one for each power of 10. So I'm gonna start with my decimal place at the end of 8,000 where it belongs. I'm gonna move it one spot to the left for this 10 and one spot to the left for this 10. That lands my decimal place right there and that means that I'm working here with 80. I don't need to include the zeros after. I could. I could write 80 and write it like a money. Um, they're exactly the same. And in this case, I'm not going to include them just because they're not necessary. So I'm just going to leave it here as 80. Oops. Down here, we have 8,000 and we're dividing it by 1,000. 1,000 is made up of 10 times 10 times 10. So that means I'm going to need to move my decimal spot to the left three times, one for each of my tens. Starting here, we're going to go to the left, to the left, and to the left. And what's going on is that we're dividing by 10, dividing by 10, and dividing by 10 a third time. We have the answer to be 8. Now you may have looked at 8,000 divided by 1,000 and you might have thought to yourself, I know that's 8. Maybe you even have worked out a rule with yourself that you can cross these three out when you're crossing out these three. Yes, those are absolutely fine shortcuts, but it's important for us to know why they work. The reason why these work is because when we're dividing by powers of 10, what's really going on is that we're moving the decimal place to the left for each power of 10. All right, so here are some harder problems that still involve using um, the powers of 10, things like uh, 10, 100, 1,000. But this time, the numbers um, that we're using for our dividend are a little more complicated. They're not just all filled with zeros. So let's practice these for a moment. So let's start here with 8,500 divided by 10. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to practice by moving the decimal place over to the left just one time, 
because we're dividing it by plain old 10. That brings us to 850. Not too hard. Okay, here we have 42,800 divided by 100. 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10, or two groups of 10. So we're going to need to take our decimal place, move that over one place to the left, and a second time. Each time represents dividing by 10 once. So we now have our decimal place here, and that makes our answer 428. For our third problem, we have 6,150, and we're dividing it by 1,000. Now, I could take a look at this right away, and I could say, well, if I estimated, I would know that this is sort of like saying 6,000 divided by 1,000, and that's going to bring me to about 6. So I know that's kind of a ballpark range for my answer, and estimation's always a good idea with any of these powers of 10. So I'm going to try my method that's been working so far. I know that 1,000 is made up of 10 times 10 times 10. And that means that I need to divide by 10 three times, and I can move my decimal place over to the left one time, two times, three times. And it lands me right there, causing my answer to be a little more than 6, which is really close to my estimate. And we're working here with 6 and 15 hundredths or 6 and 150 thousandths. Okay, so let's look at a couple of problems that are just slightly more complex and these are the types of problems that you will also be expected to solve. So we have some problems here that involve um, not just 10, 100, 1000, but multiples of those numbers. So we're looking here at things like 20, 950, and these are numbers that we can use the same methodology, but we might have to use one more step involved. So let's start here with 160 divided by 20. So one thing that I know about the number 20 is that it's made up of 10 times 2, or 2 times 10. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to think about how I need to divide by 10, but I also need to divide by 2. So I'm going to start by dividing by 10. That's what we've been doing on the previous pages. So if I start here by dividing by 10, I'm going to get the number 16. Now I need to take 16 and divide that by 2. That brings me to 8. So when I do 160 divided by 20, that's the same thing as 8. I can also take a look at a number here like 3,600 and divide that by 900. What I need to do is pay attention to 900 and think to myself, well that's the same as 100 times 9 or 9 times 100. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to take 3,600 I'm going to divide that by 100 to get started, and that's going to bring me to the left once, twice, so this equals 36. Now I need to just do 36 divided by 9, which is a familiar fact to me, and I'll know that that is going to give me the answer of 4. So what we're saying is that 3,600 divided by 900 is the same thing as 4. Remember, if you're ever stuck, you can always double check your work with multiplication. So I could say, what's 900 times 4? And I can use my power of 10 rule to flip it and get my product. Okay, let's take a look at this last one. We have 1,250 divided by 50. So once again, I'm going to take a look at, I'm going to break down 50 into 10 times 5. It's easy for me to do 1,250 divided by 10 because I'm going to use my power of 10 rule. All right, so I'm going to divide that by 10 to get started, bringing my decimal place to the left one time. That's going to bring me to 125. So now I need to do 125 divided by 5. Well, let's think about it this way. Let's say I know how many groups of 5 go into 100. Well, I know that that's 20. If I had 100 divided by 5, that equals 20. And I know that 25 divided by 5 equals 5 
put that together, we have a total of 25 groups. So 125 divided by 5 is 25, and that means that 1,250 divided by 50 equals 25. So hopefully you've gotten the hang of it by watching a few problems. Remember, every time that you're dividing by powers of 10, for each power of the 10, you're, each power of 10, you're going to need to move your decimal place to the left one time.